What's up, Pisces? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot. Here to do your June's uh, energy uh, regarding love, romance, and relationships. Pisces, I hope all is well. Um, I'm back using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck to deliver your messages. We're just going to cleanse the energies from Dawn Aquarius this reading. Not intentionally reading uh, reversals. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that this deck here has two lovers, two devils, and two emperors. So if you receive any of the two, it is double the strength of energy or the impact of what it can express for you. All right. Also, um, I brought back out my um, what's on their mind oracle I created for myself uh, a couple years ago. So I figured it'd be nice to throw some cards um, from that deck. Okay, so let's see what's going on. This is for Pisces, suns, moons, risings, venuses, singles, couples. Okay, what is the potential energies for Pisces to look forward to when it comes to these relationships? Energies for my fishes. All right, here we go, Pisces. The first card and message for you is the Chariot. This is a very positive card to start and open up with because you're part of that energy. It represents Cancer specifically, but also you and Scorpio as well. So you can take the Chariot in terms of a message that, you know, if you're already in a, a partnered uh, situation that is moving in the direction that you um like okay something that you're either moving towards it could be a new relationship that's very positive or that energy is coming uh towards you some of you may be uh, vacationing taking time away from work the children the family other responsibilities spending some quality time with one another could be weekend getaways or whatever the situation may be um you're safe to and from if you are traveling in the month of june and then also, too, I equate the chariot with that of the star card. So it's almost like, you know, wishes being fulfilled. Again, attach that energy to your relationships. Uh, whatever it is that you're wishing for in terms of a relationship, it may come to pass in the month of June. This is uh, social media. OK, so some of you may be engaged and looking for new love romance through social energies. And there's nothing wrong with that. Very positive. OK, following the major arcana of the chariot, now we have the queen of pentacles. So some of you are still, you know, looking forward towards a more um, secure relationship, permanent relationship, um, uh, stable relationship. I always get that energy with the pentacles when I'm doing the love readings. But this is actually a court card here. So uh, the energies could be exchangeable. So this is representing the queen, but it also could be male energies. This person may be coming through um, if you are, you know, the single uh, Pisces. But, you, you know, I could be reading for some Pisces who are already engaged in uh, relationships where the feelings are you feeling, you know, like you're secure. Your, your relationship is stable and um, it's sort of like on a long term permanent basis. Uh, but this person here separately could be just, you know, coming along and, you know, you connect with a uh, single uh, Pisces and you know this person's doing very well for themselves you know they um, dependable reliable of course they are good with money they may work in the money industry they could be running their own business they like the finer things in life but they're caring also nurturing but they don't also you know always have to come out to be you know, I'm just reading the attributes from the card, but they don't have to be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but they very well could be. All right, um, following the Queen of Pentacles here for you, now you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, simply put, in a love reading means that if there was any slight going on with you in terms of your relationship, maybe June is where you get that apology coming forth. Now, that could be anything, uh, like I mentioned, that was slight, uh, nothing really serious, but, you know, maybe, you know, because, you know, relationships go through ups and downs. And so, you know, your partner may have done something to you or uh, whatever the situation may be. And then they may come back and offer a, an apology to you. It's an even number of pentacles. You accept the apology, 
right? So it balances the energy out. All right, following the Six of Pentacles here, now we have the Major Arcana, the Fool. The Fool is asking you to take that leap of uh, faith, leaving the fear and the hesitation behind if you're the single Pisces and you know you want to you know enter into a new partnership or put yourself out into the dating pool just go ahead and do it the people behind this fool here um are the people that are out there waiting to be met okay this is also seeking some sort of fun or excitement in uh, current relationships or maybe that's what you're looking forward towards in a you know, new relationship if you're the single Pisces, it mirrors over here to the queen, the, the court card. All right. So just allow the universe to support you. This is an aspect of a new beginning. So I, you know, it could be a new relationship or it could be some sort of new uh, foundation within a relationship already. And you may be, you know, wanting to step into the unknown, do something totally different with your partner that you've never done before. So it's about discovery. You know, but it's an uh, exciting discovery. Just go for it. All right. That's the major arcana of the fool. Up next now we have the eight of wands. You have the um, great communicating card. This is the equal amount of wands. So, the you know, it's effective communication, which you express this month uh, to your partner or someone that you're interested in or dating. Um, it will be well received by them. And then information coming towards you will be um well understood now you can attach the good news that's usually associated with this eight of wands to your relationships or whatever else is going on there may be some sort of significance here because it, it does mirror over here to the chariot and this is also a traveling card as well the eight of wands is always the touch uh, always represents a touch of surprise so you know there's some rapid, fast energy happening here for some Pisces in the month of June that may just, you know, put a smile on your face or maintain a smile, you know, concerning relationships. The, the good news could be that you're the single Pisces and you finally connect or, you know, with somebody that you feel romantically and, you know, there's equal amount of energy. The person feels the same about you as you feel about them. And it also could be for those uh, couples out there as well, where there could be some sort of new excitement or adventure stepping into unknown territory, you know, because you're just, you know, you wanting to do that just to change the relationship dynamics around. All right. So I always get a lot of texting. So you could be just, you know, communicating through that um, en energy source or not on the phone a, a great deal following the uh eight of wands here now we have the ten of swords ten of swords is good because it's um you know even though it's the ten of swords i don't regard it as having to have dealt with a you know a high degree of stress or anxiety well if you did it's fine because that energy is about to move away from you in the moon uh month of june so you know if your relationship in the month of may was not how you perceived it or how you wanted it to be well there's a calming type of energy or calming force of energy coming to you in the month of june so it's an ending of whatever you dealt with in the month of may and then also uh in june new things exciting things are about to occur or open and by the way if i did mention since this is going up here before memorial day i want to wish all the pisces who celebrate memorial day a very, very happy and safe memorial day celebration following the ten of swords here for you uh, pisces now we have the magician major arcana the magician so it's always going to be two aspects that I read uh, because I do read the uh, magician as an actual person. All right. So but it's about manifesting. What's your wants? What's your desires? OK, now it may be also connected to the messages here uh, with the fool. You know, like what do you want in terms of uh, bringing some sort of fun or excitement into your life regarding relationships? Put it out there. OK, that's what you want to manifest. That's what you desire. And, you know, all you have to do is just throw it out there and let the universe uh, do the work for you. Uh, the magician, on the other hand, I uh, read it on the negative side. You got, still got to be careful of people. Um, you know, this is a stronger message for those Pisces that are single to be careful. OK. And even though we have the uh, chariot here that represents um, 
social networking and social media, you have to, you know, vet these people uh, that you meet on social media. This is strangers, people that you are unfamiliar with. And of course, I always talk about it still could be those Pisces who are, are already in partnerships and, you know, they're coming across as, you know, extracting energy from you, manipulating you or controlling you, you know, the energies, right? So be discerning here and vet these people. Um, if you happen to meet somebody new on a dating site, you got to know their history. Okay. Don't trust everything that they tell you. Um, have them back their, um, energies up with facts. Okay. Cause, and then you have your own intuitive energies too, to help you along the way. Never sidestep those inner voices, Pisces, those gut feelings that you feel. Cause you know, you guys have some strong intuition and you know, when somebody's trying to pull a wool over your eyes. All right. So, um, just be careful there following the major arcana, the magician. Now we have, Oh, look at this. You got the lovers, major arcana, the lovers. So there is really one, two, three, you got three major, no, four. Four major arcanas here. Pay attention to the major arcanas. I always tell you guys, the major arcanas carry extreme energy here. And you have very positive major arcanas outside of the negative side of the magician. But, you know, all in all, it's still more positive. So the lovers here is self-explanatory. It could be that somebody's getting married in the month of June. Uh, when the lover shows up in your spread, that means that if you are already in a partnership, then, you know, your month ahead is going to be like um, uh, even leveled playing field. I always say, see an eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another, spending quality time with one another, just, you know, having a grand time. This is a card that can unite um, new romantic partners, uh, stronger emphasis, you know, that may unite new relationships, beginning stages. You got the fool right? Something new, a new relationship is about to open up. Um, so yeah, that is the lovers. All right. Following the major arcana, the lovers here for you, Pisces, we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a court card, but then again, it's like, um, you communicating or having a need to communicate. Uh, oftentimes I always say it may relate to something in your recent or distant past, and that you have to uh, take charge. And you're clearing up some sort of uncertainty or uh, confusion centered possibly around a, a relationship following the lovers. It could be, you know, uh, just a message. It could be a wedding or it could be something else that's going on. Okay. But you're taking charge. You're not using your emotional energies here. You're using your mind, your analytical mind to help you uh, charge through or move forward, whatever it is that you have to do. Okay. Attach it to your relationship. The last card that I have for you, Pisces, is the page of pentacles. In this instance, this is an offering. So again, a new relationship may be coming through. It cross mirrors over here to the chariot, which if you were the single Pisces out there specifically, then you may be, you know, online. Okay. Looking for, um, love, this person may be a uh, part of that energy. So you have a mature energy. You have a very mature energy here, even though they may be younger. This is, you know, considered older or this is younger. Very mature, just like that queen of pentacles, the uh, nurturing, caring, um, and they may be young for their age, but they're very mature, like the finer things in life, willing to share that energy um, for you know, anyone that comes along and that's what they have to offer. It mirrors the lover. So that could be even more of a significant uh, thing going on here. Okay. So this, I love this energy here for you, Pisces. Finally, you guys get something decent, you know? So, but again, it's just me interpreting the cards. You always have to take what's going to work for you and leave the rest alone. But I do feel that um, with the uh, fool uh, in itself that, you know, drop the fear, of, you know, stepping into unknown territory, um, you know, relationships are all about teaching and learning. And how are you going to learn? How are you going to teach if you're not in a relationship? All right. So that's what I have. Let's see what the um, what's on their mind. Oracle want to add to your spread. All right, so 
So the first message for you, Pisces, is I respect you. And that's very important involving relationships. You have to have respect. You have to give it and earn it as well. Following the uh, I respect you. Um, oh, I forgot to turn it over. Okay. Someone is, see, there's the I'm sorry right there. I just talked about the six of pentacles that somebody could be getting a apology. There it is. That's a validation that something is coming towards you. Uh, and I, again, I have to reiterate that it could be something so minor, um, but there is an apology that is forthcoming to Pisces in the month of June. Following the I'm sorry, now we have clear intentions. Clear intentions just simply means uh, you just need to be clear about the person that needs to be clear about their intentions uh, when it relates to you, you know, what do you expect or what their expectations are and, um, you know, making clear intentions in terms of um, not only your expectations, but their expectations, like I said, you know, before. Just be sure, just be clear. Now, I could connect this energy here to the Knight of Swords because this is the uh, sword or the court card that usually comes in here that's clearing up any confusion or uncertainty or doubt. So you want to be sure, you want to be clear before you move or process forward. All right. Next card I have for you, uh, Pisces, is uh, sex with you is the bomb. Okay. Uh, yes. Again, sex with you, Pisces, is the bomb. Shadow energy here is um, destined to be together. All right. Enough said. All right, this is the messages that I have for you, Pisces, for June 2024 regarding love, romance, relationships. Remember, it's just soul from Intuitive Tarot giving you his best impressions about what is the potential energy or the potential energy that could open up for you. Only take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Come back to get more of these messages. I want you guys to have a safe, great month ahead on June 2024. Uh, remember to come back smiling though, Pisces, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.